All right, this is getting kind of silly. I've now tried to do this uh, review like five times. I really don't mind. The snuff is that good. Hi, everybody. I'm Paul Shelbetter, your wicked Uncle Squinty, and I'm here in the dank basement bringing you a surprise, absolutely free bonus nasal snuff review. It is not going to cost you one cent, one new pence, one centavo. It's not even going to cost you a millo yuan nothing this is the snuff i'm crowing about today and i really am crowing about this i'm sorry i of course will have to rotate the tin so you can get the label upside right and i will do that as we talk about this now i'm a huge fan of sps and i even use them once in a while as my everyday all day uh for periods at a time i like them during allergy season they clean my nose out actually better than menthol under certain conditions i love the refreshing uh, scent of the bergamot in them. I like what it does for my nose. It's very refreshing. It's great. I love SPs. And when I was putting my order up on uh, Snuff Store, <clears throat> I came across this because I was trying to, you know, restock my SPs. So I just searched under SP and this came up and it's, you've never tried that before, Squinty. You need to try the Gawith Hogarth SP. So that is what we are going to sniffle today. First of all, I've got to start by commenting. You read the title. You know I love this. And that's why you're getting a free, absolutely free. Did I mention it's free? You don't have to pay anything for it. Not a penny. Uh, surprise bonus snuff review. Because I'm so excited about this. I cracked this open this morning just to have something to snip and went, Whoa, wait, yo, yo. So, first of all, the grind is sensual. The grind is sensual, it is silky, it is perfectly uniform. The moisture is dead in the middle of a 1 to 10 range, right at 5. Uh, it doesn't pill really between the fingers. You can kind of pearl it up, but the, the pearl falls apart in about 2 seconds. Um, you can pearl it, and it does stick a little bit to your fingers, so the moisture content is very nice. The grind is somewhere between medium and fine but not fine enough to give even beginning snuffers any trouble. Uh, no problem. In the tin, okay, this is an, an SP, so you would expect a lot of that Mediterranean citrus fruit bergamot. You guys know bergamot? Sure you do. Have you had Earl Grey tea? Even if you've never had an SP snuff, I guarantee you, if you've had a cup of Earl Grey, you know what bergamot smells like. Bergamot is also used in a lot of perfumed products, soaps and colognes and so on. One of my favorite colognes is a sandalwood and bergamot cologne. It's masculine, it's very refreshing, it's very nice for me, and I use it a lot during the summer months. Uh, so when I open this tin, though, I don't get any real scent of bergamot. I guess a little bit. I'm actually getting a little bit of ammonia because the snuff is so fresh. And it is fresh. Thank you, snuffstore.co.uk. Because this is very nice. Um, a very fresh, obviously recently tinned tin. This has not been sitting around for very long. Because the fermentation is still going on a little bit in the tobacco. And that is uh, producing a little bit of ammonia. So I'm smelling some of that in the tin. Now, this will normally air out, as you know, if you've been taking snuff for a while. Every once in a while, you will open a tin that has a relatively heavy amount of ammonia to the scent. And you know you can just let it air out for three, four hours. Don't air it out overnight or under a light or anything like that. You don't want this to dry out. As I said, the moisture is perfect fresh out of the tin. But you can sort of let the tin breathe a little bit and get rid of a little bit of that ammonia. I'm also smelling a lot of nice Kendall tobacco, but as I said, very little, if at all. And I might have just psyched myself into thinking there's bergamot in there, right? I'm going to warm up a pinch and we'll try it again. This grind is amazing. It's gorgeous. Nicely done Gawith Hogarth, Samuel Gawith. Same company now. One acquired the other. I believe it was Gawith Hogarth acquired Samuel Gawith and now makes their snuffs. Using the same tins, the shoe polish tins, they're vacuum sealed until you open them, which means that your snuff will stay fresh if left unopened on the shelf for a very long time. Let's try this. Up yours.
Now you'll notice I just took two mega bumps in each nostril off my thumbnail here, off my boxcar. And you can take a lot of this. It resides in the nose very, very nicely. Not a lot of force is required to get it right to the sweet spot in the lower half of your nose. And it really begins to blossom. And by the way, produce the nicotine almost immediately. And speaking of nicotine, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 1 is no nicotine at all and 10 is potentially risky, this rates a very solid 6, perhaps a 7. I would say this is in the top third of snuffs I've tried for nicotine content. Now again, it may be because you can take just massive pinches of this without really getting irritated. It does not want to fall out of your nose and there's no back drip to speak of. Let me try to get a little back drip here. It's leathery, it's pleasant, there's not any bitterness, just a tiny bit of salt to it. It's good. And again, the bergamot is there, but it's just a little tiny bit. Almost enough to make you think you're psyching yourself into thinking there's bergamot there when there's not. There's also a little bit of the characteristic geranium sort of scent that you can find in many of the Lakeland tobaccos. This is essentially a nice Kendall SP that they've just chosen to kiss with the bergamot, and I'm glad they did. Again, nicotine on a scale of 1 to 10 is a solid 6. This is a potential cigarette replacer snuff, in my opinion, depending on your cigarette consumption. Uh, this is an all-day snuff. You may tire of it after a few days, but I am going to call this an all-day, everyday, everyday carry a nasal snuff for you. This is marvelous, and in case you haven't guessed from the title, my rating on this on a scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is dead, god dang, and 5 is delicious, delicious, delicious. This is a 6. Buy some. I'm serious. I got this at snuffstore.co.uk. Again, thank you, Snuff Store, for delivering me such a fresh tin. Uh, it is delicious. It is marvelous. If the bergamot in other SPs is too strong for you, but you like the style, you like the sniff, you like the nicotine content, the roundness of the aromas of a traditional SP, but want them to back off on the bergamot a little bit, this is fantastic. From the dang basement with the Gawith Hogarth SP, 6 out of 5, I am Paul, your wicked Uncle Squiddy. Hey, I understand there's a bell icon somewhere here, and if you click on it, you will get notified of new videos. Now, this was a bonus video, and tomorrow I will be presenting a normal nasal snuff review, Wednesday nasal snuff review, as I plan to do from now until eternity. Uh, and tomorrow, we will be looking at the Thai Red Herbal Snuff. Uh, I had kept it in storage for almost five years because I was scared of it, and I overcame my fear and did a review earlier today, which will be posted for tomorrow. Thank you for pressing that notification bell. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And thank you for telling your friends about this channel. Making the world a healthier place, I think, one sniff at a time. Again, this is Uncle Squinty, Paul Shellbetter from the Dank Basement. Up yours. I mean it. Up yours.